Hello and welcome. The ruling parties have agreed to extend the term of the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights Nepal, OHCHRN, for another six months, tentatively. Its current term expires on June the 9th. This will be the fifth term extension of the UN rights body since its establishment in 2005. The government had hinted that it would extend OHCHR's term for another six months with revision in its current mandate. The UN body will assist and strengthen the National Human Rights Commission. However, its right to access to the archive of the judiciary, parliament and prisons would be curtailed. And today, we have representative of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Richard Bennett, with us in the studio. Mr. Bennett, welcome. Good morning. So, uh, what is happening with the uh, term extension? Well, we're still in discussions with the government, and we have been now for uh, quite a few weeks. Um, and uh, we're, we're, in a sense, uh, discussing the fine print uh, of the agreement, uh, and uh, then uh, we expect to be uh, informed by the government um, of uh, their views in due course. Mm -hmm. But we have not yet had any formal notification from the government. Yeah, whatever the discussions are happening, ev even within the political, political circle, they're, they're roughly uh, informal, or even if it's formal, the results don't get leaked out. What's your assessment? Uh, why do you think? I mean, it, it would be a little unpleasant for me to ask how long do you wish to stay in Nepal? Well, you, 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 you can ask that question. Um, and uh, uh, really, uh, I think that uh, uh, OHCHR does not want to outstay its welcome. Um, but at the same time, uh, we uh, see the human rights situation as serious. Um, we were invited to Nepal um, at a very difficult time, um, and we have uh, a role to play uh, in the C under the CPA uh, and uh, under the agreement uh, that we have with the government. We would like to complete uh, our task. Um, at the moment, uh, our focus is more on the human rights situation than it is on the mandate extension. Uh, in a way, that, that is the, the priority. If the house is burning, uh, is that the right time uh, to talk about changing the furniture? Mm -hmm. um, it, it makes sense, but with, with uh, less than a month remaining in your uh, present tenure, uh, how can you actually focus on human rights condition? Because, I mean, one month down the line, you're not even sure if you're going to stay. Yes, that's, uh, that's true, um, but uh, we're human rights professionals, uh, and uh, we're focusing very much on the human rights situation last week. Um, we uh, monitored uh, the, uh, the general strike. Um, we had uh, 21 teams uh, in uh, 14 key districts in all five development regions. And I think we played an important role uh, to prevent violence and human rights situations. And I think that it's no exaggeration to say uh, that we helped to save lives. Uh, so we are uh, focusing on our daily work uh, and, uh, and on the issues that we uh, uh, have continued to work on for some time, including the strengthening of national human rights institutions um, and the fight against impunity. Yeah, one of the things that you are often charged, OHCHR is often charged of uh, coming up with, uh, uh, I don't know if I should be using the word excuses, or some, uh, when your term is about to expire, you're said to be talking about human rights violations at, at, at a, let's say, a month or something before that. You often come up with those things, human rights situation being not too good. Well, I think we've uh, consistently been talking about our concerns uh, of, on the human rights situation. Um, so you, you're now for, actually for more than refuting the I, allegations? I, yes, yes. I don't think uh, uh, we, we change um, our approach. In fact, we consciously talk. Um, uh, internally about not doing so. Um, I encourage my staff to work the same whatever the situation. And we, uh, we, we also uh, issue reports and statements in the same way, whatever the situation. It just happens that um, at present, 
um, there is uh, a perilous situation for the peace process. Uh, we saw that uh, on the streets last week. Uh, now there is uh, a lull, uh, but uh, still uh, the situation is in a uh, the, the country is in a situation of political crisis, I believe. So you think it should be extended, the term? Um, we have proposed um, an extension for two years, um, and we're waiting to uh, waiting for the government's response uh, to that proposal. Um, and we do hope that the government will issue um, a request uh, uh, with a full uh, mandate for OHCHR. Um, but, uh, and we're in, in, in very uh, good discussions over that. I have to believe that as well. But uh, recently there was a lot of pressure when government, uh, uh, some members of the government suddenly said that we don't need OHCHR. And, and there was a lot of pressure from the foreign envoys, including European Union and other ambassadors as well. How do you think that, that should they be talking about this, the envoys? Um, well, I think uh, um, there is support for OHCHR from many different uh, quarters, uh, including the foreign envoys, but uh, also from many Nepalis. And to be quite honest, uh, the support of Nepalis is even more important uh, than, on, than the foreign diplomats. Um, uh, there may be a few uh, doubters. Uh, I'm sure there are for uh, any organization, uh, especially with a, with a relatively important role and a high profile. But uh, uh, our, the feedback we get is that uh, the support is much greater uh, than those uh, who do not support. Um, and after all, um, we came uh, to Nepal with enormous support from the people, uh, especially the civil society. And I, I believe the support is still there. Um, it, do, don't you think it also uh, brings in that, that element of uh, foreign interference in people's mind? When a lot of foreign envoys start talking about it, rather than uh, the civil society opinion makers talking about, OK, we need OHCHR. Somebody else who has just come to Nepal, maybe for a few mm. years, starts talking about, you need mm. OHCHR. Does it bring bad name for OHCHR itself? I don't think it's bad. Um, I think it's positive, um, but I think it's complementary to the domestic uh, voice. Um, no, I, I was talking about uh, there's some kind of uh, image built in people's head when somebody else who is coming from outside talks about, okay, you need this. It, it looks like tailor-made, and somebody else is making the decisions for you. Sure, and I've already said that uh, the voices of Nepalis are the most important, but I think uh, it's also import uh, important to remember um, that the international community does have a role to play in Nepal and in human rights. Human rights are defined by international law uh, and one of the uh, purposes of OHCHR is to assist the country uh, to meet its international obligations uh, uh, to, to uh, uh, strengthen the human rights system in Nepal. One of the charges that is leveled against you, or, or let's say OHCHR, is that uh, you are not strengthening the National Human Rights Commission. Are you rather trying to compete? Oh, I think, I, I, yeah, I think that is mischief making. Um, it's certainly not the case. Um, uh, uh, since February 2009, uh, OHCHR signed uh, guidelines for cooperation with the NHRC. Uh, both parties willingly signed and they're being implemented. Um, there's also um, a two-year uh, uh, project of, uh, to strengthen the NHRC in cooperation with UNDP. Um, the, the organizations are complementary um, and uh, there is plenty of space for human rights work in Nepal given the serious uh, situation for all actors including the government and civil society as well as NHRC uh, uh, and ourselves, Na National Dalit Commission, National Wom Women's Commission, all our human rights um, actors. OHCHR does have a different role though. We're an international organization. We're the only UN organization dedicated to the protection and promotion of human rights. And uh, w our main uh, goal is to strengthen domestic institutions and domestic laws. Uh, but we also have, res 